everyone you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is k times k times k plus k this is equal to 10. so what are the values of k now let's provide a solution from here so k times k times k this is k to the power of 3 then plus k this is equal to 10. Let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have k to the power of 3 plus k subtract 10. This is equal to 0. Now, this is k to the power of 3 plus k minus 10, which is minus 8 minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have k to the power of 3 plus k, subtract 8, we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3, minus 2, 2 is raised to the power of 1, so this is equal to 0. So we have k to the power of 3 here, and 2 to the power of 3 here, so we can combine this as k to the power of 3, minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus, here we have k minus 2, so we have k minus 2, this is equal to, zero so we have two parts here the first part here is the difference of two cubes which is a to the power of three minus b to the power of three and also we have the second part here now here we have a to the power of three minus b to the power of three which we can express as a minus b then we have a squared plus a b plus b squared. Applying this identity, then we have k minus 2. Then we have k squared plus 2k plus 2 squared, which is 4. Then plus the second part here, which is k minus 2 everything here equal to 0. k minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out k minus 2, so that into the parentheses, here we have k squared plus 2k plus 4 plus 1, this is equal to 0. So we have k minus 2, this is k squared plus, we have 2k here, then plus 4 plus 1, this is 5, this is equal to 0. We have two parts here, the first part is k minus 2, this is equal to 0. The second part is k squared plus 2k plus 5, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that k1 is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ak squared plus bk plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and that c is equal to 5. Now, so for k2, comma k3, we apply the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that now, here we have minus 2 plus or minus, we have the square root of b squared this is 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 5 everything here divided by 2 times a which is 1 so here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared this is 4 minus 5 times 4 this is 20 everything here divided by 2 
So this means that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. This is minus 16. Everything here divided by 2. So this means that here we have minus 2 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 16 as the square root of 16 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is 4. Square root of minus 1. This is i. Then divided by 2. In the numerator here, 2 is common. So we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. Here we have minus 1 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here. This implies that k2, comma k3, this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. And therefore, we have k2 is equal to minus 1 plus 2i. And k3, this is minus 1 minus 2i. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions for this algebra problem. We only have only one real solution here, which is 2. This is the only real solution we have here. So let's verify this. Now let's verify that k1, which is equal to 2, k2, which is equal to minus 1, plus 2i, k3, which is equal to minus 1, minus 2i. Remember, these are two complex solutions. And this is the only real solution we have. So let's verify that k1, k2, and k3 satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that k multiplied by k, multiplied by k, plus k, this is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, k1 is 2, so this is 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. 2 times 2 times 2, this is 8 plus 2. This should give us a value of 10. So 8 plus 2, this is 10, which is equal to 10. So the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that k1 here which is 2 satisfies the equation now let's check k2 let's check k2 which is equal to minus 1 plus 2i now we have that k times k times k by k2 which is minus 1 plus 2i if this satisfies the equation so we have k times k times k plus k this is supposed to give us a value of 10 k times k times k this is k to the power of 3 plus k this is supposed to give us a value of 10 now we have k as minus 1 plus 2i raised to the power of 3, then plus k, which is actually minus 1, plus 2i. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, minus 1 plus 2i to the power of 3, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 3, which we can express as a to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 3, then plus 3ab, into the parentheses a plus b. So now here we have minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2i to the power of 3, then plus 3 times minus 1, then times 2i. Into the parentheses we have minus 1 plus 2i. So minus 1 to the power of 3, this is minus 1. Then we have 2 raised to the power of 3, this is 8. Then we have i to the power of 3, 
this is the same thing as i to the power of 2 times i, then 3 times minus 1 times 2i, so this is minus 6i into the parentheses, this is minus 1 plus 2i. We have that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So we have minus 1. Here we have minus 1 times 8, which is minus 8 times i, so we have minus 8i. Then we have minus 6i times minus 1, so this is plus 6i. Then we have minus 6i times plus 2i, so this is the same thing as minus 12i squared. So now we have minus 1 minus 8i plus 6i minus 12i squared, then plus we have minus 1 plus 2i. This should give us a value of 10. Now, we have minus 1, minus 8i plus 6i. This is minus 2i. Then minus, we have 12. i squared is minus 1. Then we have minus 1 here. Then we have plus 2i. This should give us a value of 10. Okay. Now, minus 1, minus 1. This is minus 2. Then we have minus 2i. So, minus 12 times 1. This is plus 12. And then we have plus 2i. This should give us a value of 10. Now, we have minus 2i plus 2i. This simplifies. Minus 2 plus 12. This is 10 which is equal to 10. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that K2, which is minus 1 plus 2i, also satisfies the equation. So let's check K3. 